Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about how to increase your barter count and if you currently have a Caravel or a Galeas, could you still barter and make money? So this would also be kind of like a semi-guide on how to prepare for your blue gears that are needed for the Caracs. So just a quick recap, if you are going towards the Carrack, and in my case I'm going for my third Carrack which is the Volante, you would need these blue gears and one of the requirements for each of these ones are the green gears that you could buy off of Filiberto Falasi. First thing that you would do is go over to Port Neferia and talk to Filiberto Falasi, our favorite NPC, for bartering and you would get the ones that you would need. So if you have a Neferia Caravel currently and we've talked about this in part 1 and part 2 of our guide, um, links in the comment down below and the Galeas, so this is the one that I currently have, then you would need to purchase these ones in order for you to get the blue gear. And as you can see, they do provide stats. So for example, the Galeas set, this one gives you 400 weight. So 100 here for the cannon, 100 for the white wind sail, 200 for like the plating, and 100 for the white horn. And it gives kind of a like good... Um, modifier such as the movement speed and also the turn speed and just to show you that it's needed for the blue gear and what are the maximum stats you would have to go to portofirio house 1-4 second floor and as you can see here it's listed on what you would be building so if you have a caravel that you would want to upgrade then you could check on these ones but look for our case um, we're building our volante so we're going to the galeas gear so the good thing about the green gears that you can be um you can buy from filiberto is that they give decent stats so at plus 10 it gives you six percent movement speed 300 weight 5000 rations for the plating it gives you 600 weight 10,000 rations for the cannon it gives you 6,000 durability 300 weight 5000 rations and the most important part 12,000 damage per hit for your cannons and for the wind sail it gives you 300 weight and 5000 rations plus the 3% turn speed. So I purchased um, all of those gears and I got additional ones for repair and I do have some extra artisan memories that's why like I only got you know two extras and this would be equivalent to um, 100 durability and the next thing that you would need are these ones the fairy black stones and the frosted black stones. You go ahead and talk to Rabinia to open up her shop. And you would see here at the middle, like, you know, bottom part, the fairy black stone, which is 10 crow coins each, and the frosted black stones for 20 each. So before we continue, I just want to give a quick rundown on the stones that you have. So just in case you encounter this in special barters, that, you know, you will be getting them. So the first one will be the Verdant Blackstone. We all know this, that this is used for um, enhancing your earlier gear when you are trying to build your improved sailboats. And then you have the Frosted Blackstone and the Fire Blackstone that you will be using for your green gear for your Galeas or Caraval. The next one is the Lunar Blackstone and the Solar Blackstones. These are um, a combination of the Starlight Crystal and the Blackstones, so the Fairy and the Frosted. And these would be used to enhance your car green gear. And lastly, your sunset black stones, which are the ones that you use to enhance your blue gear for the carrots. So the enhancement process of these ones are the same with, you know, the weapons and armors. So you would just like uh, call your black spirit and go to enhancement, load in the gear that you want to uh, enhance and as you can see here the current chance is 74.20 so that is with my plus three enhancement chance if you want to use um stacks you can do so if you see over here on my needers belt if i load 23 it goes to the cap 90 percent but i won't recommend it up until like it dips more so since we have 77 we're gonna try to get this to five and then after five it's gonna be the um, frosted one so let's go second is still 
third is still 65 percent 58 4 and 5 so we didn't use any stacks on that one we used a total of seven so let's continue on to the next one and i'm just gonna speed through this one So now we have all plus five gear and as you can see even at this level it gives significant stats already to 100 weight for the prow uh, 400 for the plating 200 for the sail and 200 for the weight limit um, but what i would recommend is to upgrade your cannon first just for the damage so it helps you out on sea monster hunting so we would go and do that and I do recommend using stacks on this one. If you don't know how to build your stacks, then you know you can search up one of the videos that I made on creating your own 20 stacks, or you know like you could explore more and do more research, like and do what's comfortable for you. But for me, like I do have like a lot of like stacks that I got from the Dice uh, Black Spirit Adventure and also the event, so I'm gonna use that one. So I'm gonna use my lowest one at um, plus 15. And this would total uh, plus 18, and that puts me at 76.96. And that's one. And I'm just gonna go and use these ones as, you know, for me, like this has just been lying around for a while. And I have a lot of 20 stacks that I got from the event. So like, I'm just gonna use them all to make the enhancing more, you know, much easier for me as I do not like mind the cost. And as you can see here, this have, you know, greatly um, increased the stats for this one. And I could use this one now for my Galeas and also later on would be used for the blue gear. So what you would do now is if you have limited stones, as you can see, I only have like eight like remaining ones. You would just go to gear, like your gear one by one. And for example, this one, we have the plus five. I'm gonna load in one of my 20s and enhance this to six. Go to the next one, do the same thing. And I, as I've said before, use the stacks if you're comfortable with it. But for me, you know, having to go and get the coins for these um, frosted is more time consuming than just like, you know, getting the stacks. So see over here that we got unlucky with that one. So we got plus six on those. And then go ahead and do the same for the other ones. And as you can see, we've used all of our stone and we finish it to plus six, plus six and plus seven. And the final one is our cannon that we just did earlier is the plus 10. So the next step is kind of obvious, bring out your Galeas or your Caraval, go near the wheel, hit F5, and just load in your gear. But like, you know, let's take a second to look at the current stats. So the Galeas have like 110 speed and the weight at 8,000. This is like, you know, the most important one as it is the one that determines how many trips you need and also how much items you need to load in. So with the gear that we have upgraded, you can see that we have increased it to 9,200, which means that we can do another, you know, item such as, you know, another T4 or another um, T3 because of that extra weight. So, so the next goal would now be to collect majority of the T1s so that as you go along and barter, you would have enough of the T1s to trade up. So aside from being able to have all of the items to trade up, it would take you only 851 trips to get to 5,111 um, by just doing the T1s. And then if you do mix some of these ones, once you get more materials and once you get more storage from Ilya Island, then you will be able to effectively get more items and eventually lead to the T5 trade. 
but for now i would recommend to stock up on the t1 it might get expensive at first but it's going to be worth it and saves you a lot of headache um, later on the bartering and as you can see here i was able to load five of the island requirements onto my ship without any issues which means that i could go over there and try to stock up up until like my ship is like fully overweight and head back to Velia. and i really recommend to for you know for beginners to start at Velia as it is the closest one to those islands and the one that has a marketplace director So we arrived at our first island. So as you can see, it's the basic. Go open the barter window and make sure you have the possession of how many trades there are. So six times 100 is 600. You have 600 in possession. The exchanging weight would be 770 weight and that would up to here. So we can do the continuous exchange and there we go. So we arrive at our second island and as you can see after exchanging my weight for the items is at 10,089 which is 889 over our current. But the good thing about this one is your ship can still move a little bit fast enough and not like super encumbered. So you could go to your next island and still have like you know enough um, speed for you to go to there like you know without much issue so as you accumulate your mats from t1s to one to three exchanges of the t2s and the t3s once you go to level four there will be some exchanges for crow points now these are four exchanges which is equivalent to you know 204 and what i recommend is like always just trade if it's like 50 and up so that you would be able to get the frosted black stones that you would need for enhancing. And another thing for that one is if you do get like the T4s and the T5s, then there are two islands that are super near your route that you don't have to travel far into the canals of Hakovin. And that is over here, which is the Kashuma Island and the Halmud. So what you could do is from Ilya Island, if you have the T5 stored over there or even at Vela, then what you would do is get those two items and trade these ones for the coins, which you can use too for your Blackstones if you still are lacking coins. And then get any of these ones that converts your T3 to T4s. And there's also two islands over here that trades for T1s to T2s. So it's the Esfa Island and the Sokora Island. Now, before we proceed, I just wanted to kind of like show you why is it important to unlock the routes. So I'm currently at 33,000 exchanges and I have unlocked all of the routes possible. And as you can see here, there are some items that are 10 million each. And when you've unlocked all of the 12 routes, you would see that this becomes available. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, which means that in this barter, I can do 180 million in terms of the um, T5, 10 million items. And also there are still uh, uh, 20 million exchanges, which are these ones, which is gonna be like one, two, three, four, five, which is 100 million. So a total of 280 million for these ones, not including the exchanges for the coins. So this might take, you know, um, hours for you to complete, but it's very relaxing. You don't have to do much. You can do, you know, um, inactive time in between as you go from island to island and you could like just automatic breezy sail going over to the Margoria route. And that is one benefit of, you know, bartering and unlocking all of those routes so it does have a purpose and you don't have to think that you know you're doing this thing for nothing and a good thing about this one too just an additional that the refresh has you know um, a loading time which is gonna be like kind of like a cooldown 
in order for you to do another set, which means you could do something in between. Like for me, my current routine is going over to my farm and then grinding for maybe, you know, 30 minutes to one hour um, at, you know, Hadoom or sometimes at, you know, Underwater or Star's End. So depending on your current level and bartering at this point basically becomes like a complement to your income. It doesn't need much gear, as you can see. My current like cook have my manos, but I bought just like try um, accessories for my sailor, my alt sailor, and I only have like the um, say the normal like blue clothes for um, her, which is equivalent to 2.5 acceleration. So it doesn't need much gear, and you could even like have no gear and still function because your speed is kind of like fast enough um, when you're at a Galeas and you know that goes a long way. So after a few trading routes we were able to get 23 frosted blackstones again and hopefully we get lucky and get these ones to plus 10 without any issues. And there we go, we now have the plus 10. And I'm gonna transfer these over to our Kuno so we could go over the character recap now. We're coming to the end of the video and all in all to summarize, you could see over here that the plus 10 green gear would be used to get your blue gear. And it's located at the Furia um, Harbor, as you can see over here and house 1-4 second floor. Again, there's a reminder and these would be the ones over here and it would be required to be 100 durability at plus 10 with these materials now like these materials we're going to talk on part four um where to get them and how to get them daily um but focusing on what we have for now is if you go to the upgrade ship again and as you can see over here that you would need the brilliant pearl shards and also the brilliant rock salt ingots so the reason why you want to go to 5111 is these only unlock once you get 5111 on the regular trades and it unlocks at 3000 on the material barter refresh so in order for you to get these ones and you get it rather um, randomly and not like you know all of the time and it would spawn normally here at Invernon Island and at Marka Island. One of the other things like you know those green um, gear updates does is it helps you do the Margoria quest that we've discussed on the previous videos and you would be able to deal more damage with your current um, you know uh, gear. So like if we take this one out and go to our Galeas. You can see here that our damage is now 12,000 times four per hit. If you have a Caravel, it's just gonna be times two. And that makes a whole lot of difference. So like that would make your traveling for the Margoria questing, especially when you are hunting the um, Candi uh, Candidum and the nine sharks and also the black crust so this upgrade that we just did will greatly help you as you accumulate your mats and would bring you closer to a carrot so i hope that this video has helped you if you have any questions just leave a comment down below and i try my best to find the answer for you if i don't you know have the answers already handy and thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video